Okay, everyone, sir. Okay, yep. okay, well, thanks very much for coming out. So today, we're, as you've seen, we've uh, unveiled a new uh, armoured response vehicle for the Queensland Police Service to be used by our state officers. This is a significant enhancement to Queensland's counter-terrorism capability and also to the capability of our CERT teams. There are two CERT teams uh, in Queensland, one based predominantly here in the southeast and one in Cairns. Uh, these are the guys that uh, involve themselves uh, in the high-risk operations of policing, uh, sieges and the like, uh, very dangerous operations, but they're very highly trained, very professional, and also they are the frontline response of Queensland's response to terrorism incidents. So today's uh, unveiling of this new uh, armoured response vehicle is a forward for the capability uh, of our CERT team officers. I might just ask the Deputy Commissioner to, uh, to say a few words and we're happy to answer some questions. Yes, good afternoon and thank you for being here this afternoon. The new Lenco armed uh, response vehicle provides us with a 4x4 capability uh, to add to the safety of our officers and members of the community in the very high risk activities with our from time to time. It gives us a better platform to, uh, to go in when persons are injured, um, to recover those injured persons uh, where there might be an armed offender still loose in a situation. It also gives us uh, greater protection during a negotiation uh, phase of an operation where we may be dealing with armed or armed persons. So it is a great enhancement to the capacity of the Queensland Police Service as the safety of our officers, but ultimately the safety of the whole community. Thank you. Uh, certainly, uh, as I said, uh, it gives us off-road capability uh, under all sorts of uh, uh, environments and, and uh, certainly in rain situations. Um, and uh, it is uh, certainly packed with the latest communication technology. Uh, it, it has ballistic capability, meaning that it is safe in terms of uh, persons using uh, high caliber uh, armaments against us. Um, it provides for the safety of those officers inside. Apart from that, um, certainly we are keeping confidential many of the features of the vehicle. Why is that? Well, simply because uh, the, uh, if you know the operation, uh, operational capability of our uh, specialist response people, they can uh, use strategies to try and defeat that. So we like to keep those operational uh, issues uh, confidential. Can you give us um, some examples of scenarios? Absolutely. Um, we often do what we call, call uh, contain and call out, uh, which means that we uh, isolate a, a house or a, or, or a property. Uh, we'll be able to send this vehicle in to negotiate, to talk with uh, those persons, the suspects in those situations, without ever having to leave the safety of this vehicle. Um, and that's what I mean in terms of the communications technology that's available to officers using this vehicle in safety. This turns up to um, obviously, uh, the use of this vehicle will only be by our special uh, emergency response team uh, members. They are only authorised uh, to act in very high risk situations. And of course, uh, this won't be turning up uh, in most cases to what you'd call your normal uh, drug raid, uh, but certainly any high risk activities where we believe people are armed or have access to uh, weapons or explosives. This is the type of uh, platform that we now have the capability of in our organisation to add to the safety of our officers. Um, this vehicle is worth about four hundred thousand uh, dollars at the moment. Money well spent. Oh, absolutely. As, as the acting commissioner has indicated, uh, this is a, a significant investment, four hundred thousand uh, dollars. Well worth it. Uh, obviously, uh, terrorism incidents hopefully going to be rare and. Hopefully none at all, but we've got to have that capability. Our third team officers are amongst the best in the world. Uh, they're highly professional, highly skilled. Uh, they're trained for those very difficult, very dangerous operations. We're very proud of the capabilities they have, and today uh, this vehicle really enhances that capability significantly. Will it be deployed around the state, or just Oh, certainly. Uh, moving it around the state it does take time, as you'd understand, a vehicle of this size. But it depends on the risk and it depends on the operation and whether or not we're responding to a call out or whether we're responding to a planned action. Uh, planned action makes it much easier for us to travel it uh, anywhere in the state. So we'll say there was an international summit in Cairns and take it up in the 
stand by? Yes, we could do. And would, would it be public and visible about the function? Um, certainly, uh, it's a. I mean, you've seen the vehicle. Uh, it's in the background um, uh, normally, but it's not something you can easily hide. So it's, it's covert sort of operation of the vehicle. Um, it's stealth or what? I mean, it's a bit of a giant sign. You know. The vehicle is going to predominantly be used as a as a safety platform for the operations of our people. Um, it's not something that will be hidden.